On this Independence Day, a home health group out of Pryor is going above and beyond for veterans. They raised money throughout the community to send veterans to visit the monuments in Washington, D.C. As News on Six's Kristen Weaver explains, the kindness will make a big difference. All these pinwheels display the name of a service member, and each one will help a veteran taking a trip to D.C. to get the honor they deserve. This is my dad, Donald Perigo with Air Force. These pinwheels are personal for Wayne Perigo. Both his father and father-in-law were veterans, and both had their names on pinwheels. It's exciting. It, it, it just really makes me think that, you know, he's still here with us. The pinwheels and gnomes outside Via Life Home Health and Hospice in Pryor honor a veteran and represent a donation. The money raised goes to Oklahoma Freedom Flight, a four-day free trip for veterans of all ages that Wayne helped create after his dad didn't make it on his honor flight. Got put on the waiting list because he was a Vietnam veteran. And... Um, he died 10 days before the flight. They've taken three trips to D.C. so far and have many more trips planned. There's a promise that I made that I did not realize was so big. The trips can get expensive, so Via Life owner Angela Ragsdale asked the community to help. We kind of like put it out to the staff and um, locally, just with our staff and a few businesses, we raised $1,100. Her company is also honoring all their patients who are veterans with a certificate, hat, and a challenge coin. Angela's grandfather, Joe Otto, served in World War II, and her dad, Rick Howard, is an Army veteran and will get to go on the next Freedom Flight. Until, you know, you see those monuments and in person, it's just a whole different feeling. That $1,100 will pay for a trip to Arlington National Cemetery. This is a promise and a dream, and it came true. The fundraising continues for Freedom Flight, and their next trip is scheduled for September. In Pryor, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.